our notes for the day or for the lesson. Okay, the first one we're going to go through um, are the segments. Okay, we have circles, and the last unit we concentrated on central angles, inscribed angles, angles that were in the circle, and then angles on the outside. Well, this one we're actually going to look at segments and links, the links associated with the tangents, with the chords, with secants, and with secants and tangents. Okay? So we're going to start with just two tangents. Okay, so we have a circle and then an exterior point, and we have two tangents that are drawn to the circle. So as we learned, if you remember this, and I'm going to flip this upside down so you can see it, what rule does this follow? This follows the party hat rule. So from the last unit, we looked at, we learned the party hat rule that said that if you have an exterior point and then two tangents drawn, those two segments are congruent. So, flipping back around, <laughs> the rule says the links of the tangent segments are the same. So, if we know we have a circle, and I'm going to draw one with triangles because we looked at one of those. Okay, if we have a triangle drawn, and we know this segment right here is 3, this segment over here is 5, and this segment over here is 3, we can actually find the perimeter. Because we would say, okay, if this one is 3, then the one, the other half of the party hat, the one on this side, would also be 3. If this one is 5, then the one on this side must be Five. If this one is three, then the one on the other side of the party hat would be three, and then we could add all the sides up and find the perimeter. So there's the party hat rule, which is involving two tangents. Now let's. Look